Hi, I'm Joe with E38 and Survey Solutions. In this video, we're going to show off the Gentech G20. We'll go over some background and specs first, then we'll get out in the field. Event 38 Unmanned Systems was founded in 2011, focusing on surveying and mapping drones. Really, with the emergence of the Recharge 2, the survey side grew to the point that E38 Survey Solutions was formed. We are dealers of survey accessories and software such as MicroSurvey Field Genius, and of course, we're also Gentech dealers. Gintech has a lot of success with the F90 and F100 with field compensation, selling over 1,000 units in 2020. They are compatible with SurePad, Field Genius, and Carlson. The G20 is a newer receiver with an upgraded IMU. It's a calibration-free IMU. This is also proving to be a popular receiver for Gintech. It is compatible with SurePad and soon to be compatible with Field Genius and Carlson. <laughs> We put together a quick test on the accuracy of the tilt compensation. Uh, we compared with a zero de degree tilt, then collected points with just naturally stopping and collecting a point, which turned out to be the one to four degree tilt. And finally, we, we really exaggerated the tilt, which came out to that nine to 17 degree table. The results were excellent, uh, about a half inch at worst. The G20 is a full constellation and full band receiver. Its internal UHF radio is compatible with many popular receivers, has a long battery life, it's waterproof, and it's drop resistant. We'll be using the E38 embedded tablet. It is rugged and waterproof with great computing specs, bright screen, and long battery life. Well, we will be using the SurePad data collection app which is for Android. It is a fully featured survey application with just about every feature you can imagine. Now we're ready to go out and take a look at the G20 in action. We'll be using a network rover setup. We'll take a look at the RTK fixed ability, show off the tilt compensation, and go over some basic functions. With that said, we'll head outside. So we're here out in the field. It's pretty, pretty well open for the most part. Some trees we'll get up into. Um, and we'll get up against the building, but we'll stay out uh, in the open to start. And let's get started by powering on the G20. All right, that's booting up. And we'll open our SurePad 4.2 here. So it'll probably take, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute. Yeah, take, take about a minute to actually connect up and start getting corrections in. Uh, so we'll just, we don't have to do anything. We can just wait for it to automatically connect to the software here. Like I said, should, shouldn't take too long, 10, 15 seconds. Um, in the meantime, we could start a new project here in Project Manager. Uh, we'll add a new one, call this demo, demo two using parameters the last uh, project. So I got State Plain North, Ohio North, and I'm using Geoid 18. It looks good. So we'll live with that. And now we're just waiting for it. There it goes, connecting up to the G20. All right, you can see we have, you can see in here we have an RTK fix now, uh, 34 satellites uh, there in the upper right. Uh, with that said, let's go over to survey and let's survey a point. Uh, so it's going to ask us to do this little magnetic calibration. And it also says verify your pole height, two meters, that looks good. So this calibration I'm just going to rotate the um, rotate the G20 just once or twice and it'll calibrate there we are ready to go uh, as you can see in that icon and that says ready right there so we could collect a point great we collected a point um, not too much to show you in here uh, we could rename the point we could code that point um, it also has all the info uh, in state plane coordinates, also in lat long and ellipsoidal height. There's a photo and sketch option if, in case we want to take a photo. Uh, this picture will be uh, tagged with the accurate coordinate that we just collected. 
So we could select that, we could make a drawing or a note on it, you know, corner of pavement. Great. Okay. That looks good. And we could even, I think we can show the point info there. Okay, show that long, you can see that in the upper. There it is. So, oh, we can do little things with that photo sketch. So that looks good. Uh, next thing, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna move the GPS, but I'm gonna go and we'll stake this point out. So let's head to point stake out. Uh, just so we can see, we'll tilt the GPS left and right um, and see we'll still uh, be right on top of the same point. Um, just showing off the tilt compensation. So there we go, we're about 15 degrees. Still right on, 15 degrees the other way. And back and forth. All right, that's enough beeping, so we'll get out of there. And sorry about that, just resetting the camera feed there. So let's see. Um, you know, let's go back to point survey and let's just kind of run around, take some shots in some uh, some tougher environments. So maybe we'll walk and just, maybe just hit the corner of this building where we have, you know, trees lining, uh, lining the east and west and blocking the north and then uh, uh, going up, yeah, showing off the tilt, what we can do. All right. Oh. So there we go on the corner of this building. Let's even get out of here and show you what we're looking at. So there we are on the corner, um, right up against the building. Like I said, kind of all blocked this way too. So not the easiest position, but we still have a. Fix solution with uh, strong residuals there, so everything looks good. We can store a point. Uh, so that looks great. Let's jump out of here. Maybe actually head under some tree canopy itself. So let's head over here. Really put it in the weeds a little bit. And let's take a shot. Looks good. Give you a look where we're at. So we got branches right on top of us, line in the east, line in the west, and pretty well blocked in the north too. South is pretty open. We got the building there, but um, not really blocking too much of the sky in the south. So maybe we'll try to find another spot to lose fix at. Maybe a little deeper. Let's take a look. Or... All right, let's let's try in here. It's a little more blocked. Let's see if we can lose it. All right. Still got a fix. Everything looks good. Collect a point. All right, give you an idea of what we're looking at. So just a little deeper inside. Still kind of covered all the way around. Um, then we're down a little bit, so maybe that building's now uh, affecting us since our elevation is a little reduced. But again, turned out great. Still, uh, still fixed with the strong residuals. Looks good. All right, maybe let's go take another shot right up against this building. So, how about over here? Let's see, we want to take this shot. Oh, 
All right. Still pretty strong there. Good residuals. And we'll take a look at where we're at. So yeah, obviously right up against the building. Got some trees there, pretty open, but then again, lining the trees. But still no problem, haven't lost a fix at all. Um, maybe we'll try to get in a little deeper somewhere and, and lose this fix. Yeah, see what we can do about losing this fix. So, we'll head out to the west a little bit. Just one more shot at it. All right, just looking for a place to get in to some, some trouble here. Eh, this might be a little thicker. So here we go. It may be a little thicker. Ah, but still maintaining a fixed position here. Um, I just don't have enough woods to, to lose a fix, but that's all right. Um, I guess that's all, all I really want to show you in terms of that RTK fix stability and sure enough that tilt a little bit. Oh, uh, with that, we'll give a quick look at some of the features. We won't dive really into them, but I want to at least give you an idea of what's on SurePad here. Uh, so you can see here. We've got points eight survey, detail survey, you can do some CAD, uh, stakeout, line stakeout, uh, cross section, uh, stake road by bridge section, conical slope layout. We've got elevation control where we can bring in a surface and just a bunch of other little features. Uh, here over in tools, we've got some of the standard COCO calculations, volume calculations, localizations. Um, so like I said before, we've got really a fully featured software here um, that works works really well and the, the G20 like I said the performance is uh, it's been excellent thus far so with that said we'll we'll go back inside and finish things up there to wrap things up I just wanted to talk about support and about pricing all our customers receive unlimited email support and all our customers receive 30 days of phone support. We also offer an option to purchase unlimited phone support for a year. And along with that one year of unlimited, unlimited phone support, our gold support includes personalized setup, free rentals if your equipment is in the shop, as well as an extended warranty. All in pricing on a network rover package with certain accessories, data collector, and phone support is $5,300. And a base rover setup, uh, similar setup, comes in just under 10K. And we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.